Today on Mission RV Services, we are going to be changing the bulb flap seal on a Jayco J Flight slide out. So, this uh, particular bulb seal is a double bulb. It's got a bulb outside, inside for when the slide is out or in, and it has a flap seal that rides against the side of the slide out. So, we are taking you along as we do this. Hopefully, you can pick up some tips and tricks, and we'll show you how we do it. So one of the things we do have to do is ram this slide in about a foot because this is a double bulb. As you can see, it's got a bulb on the outside and the inside. The flap goes against the sidewall here. So the old one, this is when they first put these in. This is about eight years old and they used a metal. So the new one doesn't use a metal like this. And that metal grabs around right here so but then we'll push the new one in but this one once we start pulling we're going to pull it right out and then we'll have to get some of this old stuff off here as we go Go. So here we're just pushing this back in, getting the track lined up behind the slide wall. And then we take our plastic tool and push that right over the lip so it seeps onto the edge of this track right here.
Keep on trucking, right? Good thing is this is rubber, so it's got some give to it, but as it gets tighter up here, we're going to have more concerns. So, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. For now, as we push it in here, so you'll see as we push in, see if we can get this a little bit more here. Dragging down on us. I'm gonna keep pushing this in behind that track and then just keep jamming it in. I'll use this smaller tip. So far, we're good until we get to this spot. Now it's going to be some creative squeezing. I got it pinched right now. Can't get it to seat right here. But I gotta get it behind there like that. Once we get past this part here, then going across the top should be a little easier. But I gotta get past this. And the slide out adjustment on here is a little bit tighter on this side than it is the other side. So it's taking a little extra uh, finagling. But we're getting there. We're getting there. I almost need a bigger screwdriver. top of this but for that we're gonna have to get on the roof we'll just dust it out as we go
then he's gripping. And as far as we can get. In position. It's going in quite nicely. So the manufacturer has you go down to the bottom of here, and that is because when this slide closes, it closes right up against here. So we want to keep that seal complete right to the bottom, just like the manufacturer had it. Like butter. Now we're going to go up back to the top and we're going to trim that corner and then we're going to flap it over. So right now it's kind of like spaghetti, right? So we're going to cut it and then we'll flap it over so it goes right around the corner as nice as possible to protect that from any water intrusion. So we're going to move the ladder and head back up. So our goal here is we got to take this because right here we're just a wide open for water intrusion. So we want to get this to where it kind of folds over like that. So this kind of gives me where I need to make that cut. So see where it's folded right here. That's where I'm going to make my cut. This piece will then flap up under that. This piece will go over the top and that'll make our corner. So if I do this again, that goes straight across. So right here, this spot right here is where we're going to make our cut. And of course, I'm not left-handed. So now we take that piece there. This goes inside. This piece goes over like that. And now we're going to glue right behind that. So we'll put our glue right on this piece right here. So, and what we're using is, we'll grab it out of my pocket. We're using just a, a super glue gel and Beast Bond. That's today's flavor. And we bought this bond specifically because, well, it's most inexpensive and, uh, well, and it glues rubber to rubber. So that's real resin, but it wasn't expensive. So we got it from the old Jungle website. So for this, you just smack it down as per the directions, and then we'll apply it to our There we go. Get a liberal amount on there. Now it says it sets up in 10 seconds. So now we'll lightly lift this part up again. Flap that under. And then hold it for 10 seconds. Until it bonds. And that'll be it for this corner. And then we're going to go down and do the other corner. And then the last thing we need to do is right here we're going to put some uh, we're going to put some Lexol, any kind of sealant you want to use here, but you just want to make sure you seal up around that corner, and that will help bond the rubber to that corner. So I'm going to go do that while this is setting, and then we'll go over and we'll do our other corner, and uh, we'll call this this slide out complete, and we won't bore you with the second slide out, but we got two of these babies to do today, and. Um, but that's it for now.
Well, I think we should show them the RTV in part. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go grab that silicone. I'll be right back and we'll show you how we do that silicone on there too. In real time, it'll take me five minutes. And YouTube time, be back in 10 seconds. All right, so we're gonna use Lexol around the corners here. And the reason we use Lexol, and this is a personal preference, is it's elastic. It, you can even have a little bit of wetness and it'll still stick. Sticks to pretty much everything. Uh, it's clear, it's paintable, it's, you can look up Lexol yourself. And, but this is what we like to use. We use this, we use ProFlex as another sealant. Um, they're a little bit like a gel to work with, so they can take a little practice to use them, but um, this is what we like to use. And that's what we're gonna use on this because I know it's gonna bond to the rubber, it's gonna bond to the sidewall. Even though there's a little bit of old residual sealing on there that wouldn't come off. Um, even with a little bit of heat, it still didn't wanna come off. It's pretty stubborn, but this will stick to it and it'll make a good bond for us. So here we go. Now you don't want to use too much of this and the reason is is on a warmer day this stuff will tend to run a little bit as it's curing but it cures relatively quickly just uh read the uh back directions on it it'll give you the exact cure times based on whatever application you're using it on and but that's it folks so we're glued in the corner we have our sealant on here, just came around the corner. That's all we're looking to do. We're, we're using this as a little bit of an extra bond to get this corner to stay in place. Here's our seal in there nice. Um, we're in there good. We have a nice corner, so we don't have to worry about that now. So we can watch water will run right down that and go down. We don't have to worry about it bunching in. Remember how it was all kind of like lasagna? And now we got a nice corner that's glued. That'll cure over the next, while well, we're finishing the job up. And um, we're gonna do the other corner. But that is how you put on a double bulb flap seal for a slide out. This particular one again was on a Jayco J Flight, a 2011. And you know, these seals go bad every once in a while. The one that was on there, as you see uh, in the pictures, was a metal track. And this one is just got rubber, like a rubber track teeth. So it's not gonna rust out. The reason the other one failed, the customer was doing their treatments on the seals. They were lubricating them and everything, but over time, water got into that track and it rusted the, the teeth out that grabbed a hold of the outer track. This one doesn't have those steel teeth. So as long as they maintain these seals, they're gonna be good for another probably 15 years. As long as they take care of them, they'll, they take care of the seals, the seals will take care of them. So we're gonna finish this one up on the other side. We're gonna move to the other side of this camper, get this job wrapped up and on to the next. If you found this video helpful and you liked it, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. It might not mean a lot to you, but it means everything to us. And until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye.